hello welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel today how are you guys doing how is everything my name is Wuraola and i am your host for this channel as usual if you're a new subscriber thank you for subscribing to this to this page thank you for finding a worthy of subscription and if you like anything about brazil how to move to brazil how to how to give birth in brazil how to study in brazil and how to live generally in brazil surviving in brazil then you are on the right channel if you're an old subscriber i appreciate you so much i thank you and you guys know that i love you so much thank you for your support on today's video i'll be talking about a state that doesn't get so much popularity as much as everyone knows um, rio and sao paulo i'll be doing a video for rio and sao paulo much later because many people already know about the state so i'll be doing videos for other states that people might not know that exist in brazil as i've always said in my videos that brazil consists of 27 states that includes the ones you already know that's rio and sao paulo the most popular ones i'll be talking about 25 other states in my videos so that you guys can have a knowledge a wide knowledge about other states in brazil where you can apply to where you can live in where you can start businesses aside from this already populated states rio and sao paulo let's get right into this video welcome back in today's episode i've chosen to speak about this beautiful island that is located on the southern region of brazil it's not it doesn't have so much popularity but it deserves to be heard about i do not know why um it doesn't have so much popularity but i think people that really live there are low-key people quiet they don't have so much bad energy they don't have problems they don't have any like real and all those people i think that's why it's just very quiet and very chewed i think why rio and sao paulo have their popularity is because of their carnival and because probably of the um gangsterism and probably the um, tourist attractions and other things the state i'm talking about today is santa catarina santa catarina is a state located in the south region of brazil it is an island that is very cold all through the year if you know you want to relocate to that state you have to prepare your mind for cold if you love cold you always like to be in cold weather then santa catarina is the one for you santa catarina is bordered by rio de Grande Sul and um, parana and also bahia if you are interested in that site you can start to check on it today um i'll be telling you about its economy its education and its general life influences on people first i'll be talking about its economy santa catarina is known for a very great economy it's known to import a lot of things parts motor parts foods and um, so many things have been imported from santa catarina to the other states in brazil and outside of brazil um it has a very good economy and then um i think to an extent it has a very good um standard of living um, for the educational part now which is the purpose of my video it has one of the best university so the people that live in santa catarina are known as the most literate people in brazil people that have the highest amount of education attendance is from Santa Catarina. They go to school a lot today, unlike Rio and the other states. If you're a scholar, you like to go to school and further your education, Santa Catarina is a state that you can try. Federal University of Santa Catarina, you can try them out. Um, it has a state university, it has a federal university, as technical universities and private universities. I'll be talking about the Federal University of 
Santa Catarina. The Federal University of Santa Catarina is one of the is one of the federal public schools in Brazil that offer free education, free uh, free amenities, and free 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 everything going on there. It has a high number of foreigners because it has it shares borders with other Latin American countries. I think Argentina. Also. So it has a very high amount of foreigners and is ranked number six in the in the southern american he has so many courses he has many disciplines um, ranging from arts to sciences to commercial and technology he has so many beautiful buildings and he has so many professional lecturers he has about four to two thousand students and about 2500 lecturers and it has a very peaceful environment and it's it's like real but with a peaceful environment no gang raising there santa catarina is considered as one of the safest places in brazil to live in it has one of the lowest least level of violence and crime rates and it's also considered one of the happiest cities or come states in the entire Brazil and then the employment rate is also very very low in the extent that if you are in Santa Catarina you are not going to get stranded and you're going to get a job for real especially that you are a foreigner and that you probably speak English language if you're looking forward to working in Brazil investing in real estate and um, education you can try santa catarina if you have any interest in furthering your education at the university federal of santa catarina i have made a screen record just like i did on the other video at the university of pernambuco i made another screen record on my phone and i am going to be sharing it with you guys on this video also if you would need a pdf copy of this document you can check the comment section the link to the google drive is already there thank you guys so much and enjoy i'm wishing you so much good luck and can't wait to see you in brazil very soon good luck ciao
found out that they have a collaboration with Futa at Ondo in Nigeria. There's a collaboration they have. I think that um, Futa students can come here to Brazil and study in Santa Catarina, probably continue their studies in Santa Catarina, probably an extended study. Take your 300 level and bring it here and continue um, the collaboration. I think started in 2019 i don't know if any footer student is watching this you're on strike now and it's strike now in nigeria and this is an opportunity for you to extend and continue your studies your school has a collaboration with the santa catarina university in brazil here so you can go to your school ask your department ask your lecturers ask your hod's and let them get back to you on what you need to do on the application to further your studies instead of waiting for us to you know call off your strike you know you can look for um, means to relocate to brazil there's a all i know is that there's a collaboration between futa and the university of santa catarina in brazil futa is in nigeria on those states and they have a collaboration with the university of santa catarina in brazil you are allowed to extend studies you are allowed internship you are allowed um, exchange programs you are allowed so many things you need further information go to your department and ask your lecturers i hope this video has been helpful enough and i can't wait to see you guys here thank you guys and ciao